What's up everybody, RetroPie Guy here. Today we're gonna to go over how to set up a wireless Super Nintendo controller with RetroPie. So here we have our wireless controller. Let's go ahead and open this up and I'll show you exactly what comes with this controller. So we actually have our instruction manual here. Um, this video will go over all of that so we don't need to open that up today. Um, so we, here we have our wireless gamepad controller. If we lift this out of the box here. You'll find two receivers. This one here, we're not gonna be using for RetroPie, but if you wanted to set this up and use it on a Super Nintendo Classic, you can plug that right in and you pretty much do the exact same thing. It might be a slightly different process, but uh, we're not gonna be going over that today. We're gonna go over RetroPie, so you would be using this one. This is your uh, USB receiver. It connects to this controller and this plugs right into your Raspberry Pi 4 USB port. So put that back. And then we also have the charging cable here. So you just plug this end right into the charging port here on the controller. The other end is USB so you can plug that into a computer, your Raspberry Pi 4 USB port, um, or if you have a um, like an iPhone charger you can plug this into the end that goes into the wall and charge right off of that. So now let's get into setting this up with RetroPie. All right, so in order to pair this, what we need to do is we need to hit the Start, Select, and D-Pad Up button in order for our wireless gamepad to connect to our USB receiver here. So we're gonna go ahead and push both of these down with the D-Pad up and we'll see a red light here start flashing. So you can see that red light's flashing. Now we're gonna take our USB uh, receiver here, plug it into the front of our Raspberry Pi 4, and now we'll see that this becomes a solid red light here. It's no longer flashing. All right, so now that we've plugged in our USB receiver into our USB port on our Raspberry Pi 4, we're going to boot up our Raspberry Pi 4 and let everything load in. Now, there's two ways to go through and configure and map the controls on our Super Nintendo wireless controller here. Um, if you have not set up any gamepad controllers previously, you're gonna go in through your um, screen that pops up after your initial um, boot up here. Now, first I'm gonna show you how to do it if you have already configured a controller previously, which I have on my system here. So if you have configured one previously, you'll actually come to this landing page after your ROMs load in. And now you need the con current controller that you have configured. So for me, it's a uh, 8 bit uh, wireless gamepad controller. So take your current controller, and again, this is just if you've previously already configured something on RetroPie. Um, if you haven't, I'll go over that in just a, a few moments here. So take your gamepad controller that's currently configured. You're gonna hit the start button on your controller to open up the main menu here. Now we're gonna go down to configure input and select A. It'll say, are you sure you want to configure input? Select yes by hitting A on your gamepad controller. And now you come to this configure input page. Now, if you haven't already set up anything on RetroPie, um, after you load in all your ROMs, you'll automatically pop up with this configure input page right here. Um, now that the USB receiver is plugged in, your gamepad may have turned off. So if that's the case and you don't have any red light on the top of your uh, wireless Super Nintendo controller, just hit the start button. That's also the power on button and your red light will uh, come right back on. So now that your red light's on, you're just gonna hold the A button. And now this is the process for either option, whether you've previously set up a controller on RetroPie or if this is your first time from here on out, it is this exact same process. So go ahead and hold down the A button on your wireless Super Nintendo controller. And you'll see across the bottom of this white box, it'll populate the name of your controller. All right, so now we jump into the configuring page here for the gamepad. Now we're just gonna follow these prompts and we're not gonna use all of them with the Super Nintendo wireless controller, um, but we'll uh, walk through this process for you right now. So for D-pad up, we're gonna go onto our gamepad controller and hit the D-pad up button. D-pad down, hit the D-pad down button. D-pad left, hit D-pad left. D-pad right, hit D-pad right. Now we're gonna hit the start button for start. For select, we hit the select button. For A, we hit the A button. For B, we hit the B button. 
For X, we hit the X button, and for Y, we hit the Y button. Now left shoulder, we're gonna hit the left shoulder button, and then right shoulder, exact same thing, hit the right shoulder button. Now that's all we have for buttons on the wireless Super Nintendo um, gamepad controller. So for the rest of these options, these are more for like a PlayStation or um, if you're doing like an Xbox 360, um, N64, anything with the trigger buttons, the thumb, um, analog thumb sticks. Uh, so for all of these that we no longer need, we're just gonna skip them. To skip them, we just hold down any button we've already configured. I recommend doing, um, you know, like either A or B, and we're just gonna hold those down and it'll jump past and say not defined for each of these options. So we're gonna go through all these. Uh, we don't have any of the left thumb, right thumb, or any analogs. So for left analogs in all the directions, we're just gonna bypass all of these, still holding down um, the A button for each of these. Same thing with the right analogs, but we are going to use the hotkey, so don't bypass the hotkey. So for the hotkey, we're gonna hit select again. And what the hotkey is, if you're not already familiar with RetroPie, is the hotkey is what you would hit in order to exit a game. So if, say you've jumped into um, Super Mario and you're done playing, you wanna jump back out to the uh, game collection page, you would hit the hotkey to exit that game and it'll take you right out to the game collection page where you can either back out and go through other collections or stay in your current collection and select a new game. So for hotkey, we hit the select button. And now since we've already configured the select button um, previously for the select function, for the hotkey, you would actually pair that with the start and select. So just hit select here, but when you go into a game and you wanna exit it, you would actually just hit the start and select button at the same time. That's gonna take you right out of the game and back into that collection page like I uh, just went over. So now to confirm this, we've already hit the select button for hotkey. Uh, we are just going to hit the A button to confirm and select OK here. So it'll take a second or so to load in. Once you get back to this main menu, you know that it's been fully configured. Um, if we back out of this, we can hit B. And now if we just go left and right here, um, we can see that the D-pad is working. So we know that the saves did take place and everything's good to go. So that's going to wrap up today's video. Um, that's a full walkthrough on how to set up and pair these wireless um, Super Nintendo gamepad controllers. Um, if you found this video helpful, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our YouTube channel. We do a whole bunch of different tutorials relating to Raspberry Pi and um, RetroPie. You can also check us out online on our website, www.retropieguy.com. We sell a whole bunch of um, different game collection cards for the Raspberry um, Pi 4 consoles. We sell full-on um, packages, which include the consoles, the controllers, um, all the games, cables, power supply, pretty much everything um, pertaining to gaming and Raspberry Pi 4 systems. Um, so that'll do it for today. Thanks for watching.